This program is made possible by Mary Frances Rubley through a gift to the Indianapolis Public Library Foundation. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, in Africa, the honey guide and the honey badger are partners when it comes to honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, is it time for for summer reading? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am a snail, and my name is Evelyn. Evelyn Wood. <laughs> Speed reading. <laughs> That's right, and I am reading to my good friend, Amazon John. That's right. Oh, where is he? Well, he, he's right here. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right, everybody, and welcome back to Silly Safari Studios. I'm just sitting here creatively playing with my good friend, Evelyn. That's right, because I am a ventriloquist. A what? A ventriloquist. But we can see your lips move. Oh, okay. Well, ho hold on. I, I, I know what to do. <laughs> see? Now you can't see my lips move. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm a ventriloquist. Jeez. Oh, well. It, it was worth a try. <laughs> anyway, we're just sitting here creatively playing because today we're going to be talking about creativity. Yeah, did you know that animals create things all the time? They do? Uh, I mean, we do? Oh yeah, you, you make a lot of slime everywhere you go. And some animals can dance and sing and, and, and even try their hand in art. Yeah? Yeah, it's true. You want to see? Yeah, well, come on, I'll show you. Now, lots of animals can sing, especially birds. But if you want to see some dance moves, go to YouTube and check out this little guy. He is a blue-footed booby. Even spiders can dance. This is the male peacock spider. Search for him to see his crazy dance moves. Song and dance? Sure. But do animals create art? The male bowerbird does. <laughs> Look at him. If he doesn't make a beautiful nest, then he might not attract the mate that he wants. And they each have their own favorite colors. Sometimes their nests are blue. And sometimes their nests can be golds or yellows or any color they like. This is Diablo. He is a South American crab-eating raccoon. He was cute as a baby when we took him for walks. Here he is laying in his favorite hammock. And here he is outside in his favorite hiding spot under the deck. One day, we tried to teach him how to create art. Let's see how it goes. Hey everybody, we are going to do some art with Diablo. <laughs> And uh, I'm laughing because I don't know how this is going to go. I pride myself on being a little bit of an artist, but we're going to see how the right hand does that something. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting some color in here. And the idea is hopefully he's going to come down and he's going to play with this. And we're going to see if that is an option or if it's just going to be Either way, I think we're going to have some fun. So, you know what I always say is never trust a clean artist. So, I'm going to this already. We'll see if the album is coming down. So, we'll see. Hey, boy. Welcome back. Huh. It's not good. It's not we'll come down here and play it.
Well done, little minimalist. I give you first by Diablo. <laughs> hey, that was Ryan the Lion with Diablo, our South American crab eating raccoon. That went so well. Now let's see how Angie Cat does with Osito, a kinkachu. some finger painting. Paper brush. These are non-toxic watercolors. <laughs> and so we will take the brush into your hand. I know it's really easy because I've seen other artists do it. Yeah, just, yeah, you can choose whichever brush if you don't like that one. Maybe another one's more appropriate. If you like any of it, you can choose your paint. You know? Alright. Let's take, let's come back over here and Look at the canvas, decide where you want to put it. I think we will start with happy. There you go. Just like that. Now, um, let's, here we go. Let's come back over. Oh, let's, um, let's chew on my finger a little bit. Yeah, that's not the brush. That's, that's my finger. There you go. <laughs> Lift. Shake. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. I think you're doing a good job, Osito. Look at that. There you go. Oh. There you go. Uh. Okay, here we go. All right. 
Wow, that did not go very well at all. And you know what? Creativity is like that. Sometimes it just comes easy and natural, and other times, well, you kind of have to work at it. Angie Cat, she's one of the most creative people I know. In fact, she has an idea for a project for you to create at home with your family or with your friends. Have a look. Hi, this is Angie Cat. I wanted to show you something that you can create with just rocks and some paint. I made these grass and painted them. They're just rocks. But you can paint anything on rocks. It doesn't have to be a rat. It can just be your own design or whatever you're thinking of at the time. But I like to paint rats because it's kind of fun to watch and look for rocks kind of shaped like rats. These are rats that I've known. This is from my rat, Ben Ben. And this is for Coyote Chris's daughter who just lost her little rat dice. But you can do your own designs, flowers or whatever. So that's something that you can create or you can create an animal that you like. Hey, wasn't that fun? Boy, that Angie Cat. She is so creative and she loves her rats. And you know what? So do I. <laughs> You'll never have a nicer, softer, smarter, sweeter pet animal than a rat. They're way more fun than hamsters because they're social and friendly and uh, it makes for a really great reading companion. Mm -hmm. We named this one Cookie because she's so sweet. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, my recommended book for you today is Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> I read this when I was young and in summer reading oh so many years ago. So uh, keep reading, my friends, and uh, stay creative and stay connected. And above all else, stay silly. We'll see you next time from Silly Safari Studios. <laughs>